Another Day, Another Book. Veronica Decides to Die, is a thought-provoking novel written by Brazilian author Paulo Coelho. First published in 1998, it explores themes of mental health, societal expectations, and the pursuit of personal freedom. The book follows the journey of the titular character, Veronica, as she embarks on a quest for self-discovery, challenging the norms and constraints imposed by society. With its philosophical undertones and introspective narrative, Veronica Decides to Die captivates readers and prompts them to reflect on their own lives and choices. The story is set in Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, and begins in Valais, a local mental institution. Veronica, a young and beautiful woman, seems to have everything going for her on the surface. Youth, a promising career, and admirers. However, deep inside, she feels trapped and disillusioned with the meaninglessness of her life. Consumed by a sense of despair and emptiness, she decides to end her own life. Veronica's suicide attempt fails, and she wakes up in Valais, realizing that she has been committed to a mental institution. Initially resentful and confused, she soon encounters a range of colorful characters, each struggling with their own mental health issues. Through these encounters, Veronica begins to question the nature of insanity and what it truly means to be normal. One significant character Veronica encounters is Eduard, a patient at Valais suffering from depression. Despite their initial differences, Eduard becomes Veronica's romantic interest and her confidant in the institution. Their relationship serves as a catalyst for Veronica's personal transformation, as they exchange perspectives on life, happiness, and the freedom to make choices. During her time at Belay, Veronica forms connections with other patients, including Mari, a schizophrenic, Zedka, an older woman struggling with her past choices, and Dr. Igor, the compassionate psychiatrist overseeing their treatment. Each character's unique struggles and experiences shed light on the complexities of mental health and the various ways people cope with their inner demons. Throughout the novel, Coelho weaves in philosophical and existentialist ideas. Veronica's journey becomes a metaphorical exploration of the constraints imposed by society, conformity, and the fear of embracing one's true self. As the narrative progresses, Veronica begins to understand that true freedom lies not in escaping from life but in embracing its challenges and pursuing one's passions. In a climactic moment, Veronica orchestrates a plan to break free from the confines of Valais, urging her fellow patients to join her in a symbolic act of rebellion against societal norms. This act serves as a powerful metaphor for the need to confront one's fears and take control of one's own destiny. Veronica Decides to Die, is not just a story about mental health but also an exploration of the human condition and the search for meaning in life. Coelho encourages readers to question their own choices, confront their fears, and embrace their true selves, reminding them that life is a precious gift to be cherished and lived authentically. With his signature lyrical prose, Coelho engages readers in a philosophical and introspective journey, provoking thought and self-reflection. Veronica Decides to Die, challenges societal norms and encourages readers to reconsider their own perspectives on mental health, freedom, and the pursuit of happiness. In conclusion, Veronica Decides to Die, is a captivating and profound novel that delves into the depths of the human psyche and explores the boundaries of personal freedom. Through Veronica's journey, Coelho invites readers to question their own lives, choices, and the impact of societal expectations. With its blend of philosophical musings, compelling characters, and a poignant narrative, this book leaves a lasting impression, prompting readers to reevaluate their own paths and decisions. Thanks for watching.